really came back, damn it. I gotta say, that was a tough one. Huh? I never thought I'd set foot here again. Hold on. Can anybody tell me why the sphere is still on? I mean, is it supposed to stay on like that? Huh? <laughs> irritates me. Hey, how do I turn this damn thing Fuck on? Fucking I am Mordor? I don't know. Maybe you could go back and turn it off from there. To hell with this sphere. Ignore that thing and let's get out of here. The exit is that way. Hurry! Alright, I guess we just gotta leave. Idiots! They blocked our hole up! Who in the right state of mind would do that? Door. It doesn't budge. What the fuck? What should we do? Are you kidding me? That's odd. Like it's locked from the other side. But that can't be. Oh, now what? This shit's still not over? Look at this. He came for us. But why? Why would he come for us? He's a fucking asshole. Here he comes. Look at this thing. What is this? A nightmare? Alright. Well, let's assume that every creature that comes out of the sphere is an enemy. <laughs> Unless it's you. Oh my god. How are we gonna fight him here? I don't even have any fucking powers. I can't believe this shit. I gotta fight him again. We need to hurry up. We have to surround him. Come on. But we need to attack him all together. You need to cover us. Alright, they want me to kill all these little guys. I don't want to do this. He's gonna fight a bunch of generic enemies. Again, then one more rush should be enough to kill him. Life and one hit took my whole bar. Well, Fuck you. Hurry up. Great. Man, what the hell? Oh. This is fucking stupid. 
stupid. I hit by nothing. Well, we only did one quarter damage this time instead of the three quarters we did last time because my attacks wouldn't come out. That's great. I fucking pressed block, whatever. Am I ever gonna get health? Attacking him again. Yes! Fuck him! Thank God! Yeah! We did it! Keeper is dead. 90 gamer points. So this is kill the keeper. Finish game on any difficulty. We beat it. Alright. Woo! That was a tough ending, man. It was a fucking gauntlet of bosses. <laughs> How weird that in the last fight you couldn't use the time mechanic. Like, I couldn't use the time mechanic in that fight. I tried it, it didn't work. Oh shit. Oh, hopefully we don't get sucked back in. Oh, oh well. Fuck Zero. Fuck him. He's dead. You can't help him, it's over. Oh well. Sounds like a kettle fucking boiling. <laughs> Tea kettle. Zero died, who cares? You win. And so the two hot women rub their titties together. The end. Blades of time. <laughs> the pointy nipple saga. That's it. Wow. It doesn't even show you what happens after that. Zero gets sucked in. And that's the end of the game. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of a crappy ending, not gonna lie. I did like the multi-stage boss fight, you know. It's like false ending after false ending. First you become the dragon, and I thought that then maybe there'd be a boss fight, and then there was. And then you win that boss fight, and then there's another stage, and that one is another one. A three-tiered boss battle. So, what do I think about this game? It, but it's not a bad game. It was interesting, good eight hours long, which is pretty decent for, you know, a retail release these days. The story was kind of interesting, although really it didn't come together until the end that you kind of understood what was going on. I really like the time mechanic. I think the time mechanic to fight and beat certain enemies that you need to use it, and then also to solve certain puzzles. I think that's where the game really shines. Obviously the combat is kind of repetitive, especially the melee stuff. Um, but I think that most of these kind of games are pretty repetitive when it comes to that, and that's why it's, it really excels with the other extra things, like the time mechanic and such. Um, but yeah, not a bad game. Definitely like the visual design of it, and uh, again, a good solid eight hours of gameplay. There is also an outbreak mode that I haven't tried, and I'm going to try uh, before I do my review of this game, because obviously that's going to factor in. I want to see what it is. To be completely honest, I might not even record it, because I'll probably just try it 
just to get a flavor for it, you know what I mean? It doesn't even say, it's how funny it is, right? It doesn't even say in the fucking instruction book what it is. It lists it. Look, here you go. I don't, you probably can't see it, but no, you definitely can't see it. There's not enough light in here. But it says story, outbreak, options, controls, and credits. And when you look, it says outbreak, single and multiplayer gameplay. Doesn't explain what it is. So I'm guessing it is probably like uh, certain stages, you know, like horde mode, like in fucking Gears of War or whatever. It's probably something like that. Maybe like boss rush encounters. But I'll have to see what it is before I do my Hateful Truth review of the game. But uh, all in all, I think the game's pretty good. It, uh, you know, they tried to take a hack and slash adventure game and turn it into something different with the time mechanic. And I think they did a decent job. Obviously, the most annoying part is the fucking voice acting. They told this girl to keep talking the whole goddamn game. She never shuts the fuck up. It's like, why did they do that? They should have just, you know... It's okay every once in a while to say a quip or a line, but not every fucking living second you're fucking talking. It's like, come on, man. But I liked a lot of the boss fights. I definitely liked some of the puzzles, like the desert level I liked a lot, how there was shade and light, and how that became a factor in solving the puzzles there. And uh, overall, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I think the game, unfortunately, got overlooked at a time when there were a lot of other games out. You know, a lot of people chose those other games over this one. And, of course, as usual, the mainstream media saying that the game's not very good when I thought it was interesting. It had an interesting take. It's not great, but it's not bad. So, uh, pretty decent in my opinion. Since they give me the option to skip the credits, I will. I'm just curious if anything unlocks after we beat the game. Let's see what happens here. Huh? Alright, it just goes right back to the the main menu and that's it. Huh. Outbreak single character. So you can pick one of the three characters. Huh. You can even pick some of the... Look, the, the items that you found during the game, the single player game, you can use. Wow, you can use it during this mode kill five bosses in total across all outbreak games Cause 5,000 chi kill 50 enemies 200 bullets shot 10 single target magic combos maybe it's just for now just for the hell of it let's take a quick a quick look let's do outbreak single and just see what the hell it is we won't do hard difficulty, we'll do normal difficulty. Brutal Lands, Jungle, Desert. There's only three maps that you can do. Uh, okay, let's try it out. What the hell? It's the last video of the playthrough. Might as well see what the hell this outbreak mode is, right? Got about seven minutes left, I think, left on this memory card, so... Seven minutes should be enough to, to get a flavor of what the mode is. Tree of Order is resurrecting you. Heavy strike. Ignition. Freeze. So here I am. Whoa, look at all these generic soldiers. to destroy their thing here. I pressed left. Oh, the outpost actually drains your health. This outpost kills player. What on earth? This is like a weird capture the or, uh, territories mode. We have to destroy each other's like power nodes. I 
attacking me. Oh my god, it really fucked me up. Avoid the outpost missile that was going to kill you. I didn't do that. I died. <laughs> These are all different abilities that weren't in the single player campaign. Kind of disappointed there's only three maps. Broke ours? How did that happen? This is they broke our node. How's that even possible? They haven't even gotten over there. Wow, this is a really weird game mode, man. Nasty spiders have appeared. What a weird game mode. What were they thinking when they made this? <laughs> Your heavy strike forces enemies back. Let's try that. See, our crystals are getting broken, but there's nobody here. How could our crystals be getting broken? It doesn't even make sense. Kill the boss, the spider was a boss apparently. Died again. <laughs> Look at this, our nodes are fucking blowing up. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Well, I didn't do that. I don't get it. Don't give up, you died five times. I don't get this mode at all. I guess I see when our guys revive. Serious? That thing's still alive? Holy shit. So I guess what the goal is. Oh good, invisible assassins, great. I guess the goal is to kill enough enemies that you win. There's 
no way we're gonna win. We're gonna die way before they win, or way, way before we win. It's fucking weird. I guess the whole goal here is to not die. But if you don't die, how would you ever take out an outpost? I don't know, this game mode is weird. I don't see how this has anything to do with the fucking game at all. What the hell? I got this adrenaline bullshit on. Well, we're gonna lose. The blaster has appeared? What does that fucking mean? What? This guy? He's the blaster? Oh, that was an invisible assassin. So I can't do anything to heal it. I don't get it. This game mode's stupid. Who would even want to play this? I guess you're supposed to just, instead of attacking like I was doing, you're supposed to defend maybe? I don't know. All I know is, they never really attacked those those outposts yet. We lost them all, so. That's it for fucking Outbreak. This is a bullshit game mode. Who the fuck would play this? It has nothing to do with the actual game itself. <laughs> it's stupid. This is just silly. There's killing endless fucking waves. I don't even see what the point of this is. Gonna run out. The memory card is going to run out of my camera any second. <laughs> God damn. almost done. All our guys are fucking dead. Fuck, now I'm by myself. Not good. I don't think we have any troops left. No one's respawning. Here they come. 